you may recall when we did our MOT video we had a little bit of an oil leak so today we are going to sort that oil leak out so yeah right so we're on with fixing the oil seal that's bust and the cavalry's here today so let's get on with it the problem we have with this job is we haven't got the space to record it all so there is a video that I've already done and um, I will stick a link up here to that video where we stripped out all the front end when the head gasket blew that takes you through every step of the dance but I'll just summarize it in this video because there's quite a bit of work there to be done but it's not too complicated if you've got the right bit of kit they'll keep you right as well so once you get to the point where you've got all your belts off let me show you all your covers this is where we are now all the belts are off all the covers are off that exposes that and right down the bottom there you will have this bit of kit here let's take there's a there's a nut in there that shouldn't be there it's for something else so what we have is four m10 splines so you need to buy one of these spline tool so I bought this little kit here, it was about 10 quid off the internet and it's it's served me well and that's the M10 one there so you've got four of them just take your time, release them off and this pulley will come away once you've got it off you can now fit this tool this tool so let's do that timing tool goes up and lines up with the holes there See it, and then just just sit it off a little bit. So you can see there, it lines up with them two holes there, and then it slides over the cam, and then that top piece pushes into position. That's simple. The next thing you're looking for is that arrow there. This is for your, this is on your cam pulley, and this is where the oil seals failed. It's behind there. So once that's lined up there, just below, this is really hard to show you, just below down there, there's a point where we put a pin in, so we'll do that in a minute. The next point is on your diesel pump. Now in there, behind here, there is two prongs that stick up. You might just be able to see if I push that down a little bit. Maybe not. There is two prongs that sit up there, and behind that is also a slot to put a, a 5.5 pin in, 5.5 mil pin in. So yeah, we're using drill bits because the pins have gone missing. So we've got the same size drill bits. Um, they're around about a 5.5 or six, you know, and they fit perfectly. A little bit painful when you forget they're there because they do cut, they bite. So, safety tip, put insulation tape on or use somebody else's hands. Now that we're happy we've got everything timed up, we're going to just jump in, release the tension on the belt, take the belt off, take the pulley off the cam and get in and see where this leak is coming from. There's a good old saying out there, it says learn by your mistakes. So here's one of my mistakes. See that oil seal there? It's in the wrong way around. See ya. <laughs> it's in the wrong way around. Look, there's the oil leaking. There you go. All the oil. That's that's the thing that's caused us lots of issues, lots of problems. So there you go. Yeah. It's that simple. So maybe it isn't the gasket's fault, maybe it's my fault. But anyway, we're here, we're, we're going to put it right. Well, He's putting it right. <laughs> um, I can't be trusted anymore. But anyway, at least we found the problem. Can I do the brake cleaner bit with this? So, brake cleaner. Gets rid of oil, watch. Good job. I've ordered another box of this stuff. There you go. No. 
nice and shiny. Yeah. We'll give that a wipe off. There's probably some more oil going to come out when we take it off, but that's the majority of it gone. We'll give everything a, a good wipe down. Job done. Right, now we need to pick this out of here without damaging anything. Hmm. That doesn't want to move that cliff. Yeah, we're just going to take our time and get this out without causing any damage. <laughs> it's just like... yeah, it's one of them, it'll just pop out and least expect it. So yeah, it's starting to come. There you go. Hey. Shows the offender. Yeah. Wrong way. Wrong way. Right way. Right way. Look. It's got hours of waiting. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there? Just warming it up a little bit. Just going to just flex that a little bit. Oh, there you go. No guide cone though, that's a bloody... Is that just to get it over that little lip? Yeah, it's a little lip, because you don't want to catch them on there. Mm. We're having to do a bit of improvising. We're actually missing the guide cone that, that like cups the seal and allows us to push that over the start of the camshaft. So that's what Cliff's been doing there. He's just, he's just warming up the start of the edge of the seal um, nice and slowly, just to make it actually slip over the end of the cam shaft so that's what he was doing there. It's gone over. Hmm, cool. Just tapped in there. But then <laughs> <it's> in the <laughs> room. So I'm tapped or just brushed first. Reckon, flush? Yep. That's it. Oh, sorry. Another blood blister. <laughs> Your cars. Do you want me to hold it while you tap it? That make it easier. I'm just moving it round the edge there. I've got a little loop. Pull the edge of that lean out now. Yeah. yeah. I said 12 holes supposed to leave that. Mm. Sit against the camp. So the pulley's back on. New gasket fitted. All time back up in the correct locations with the pins in. It's now just Cliff's jobs to try and fit this belt back on. And he loves this beer. Don't you? Mm. Right, that's it all back together. Hopefully, well, it's not all back together, but the magic bit's back together. The bit that makes it all work's back together. The cam belt's back on. So anyway, that's us. We'll start buttoning this back up, hopefully now. Finally, after 12 months. When did we do that? 18 months? Easter? Was it Easter last year, Blue? No. Two years I've had that leak. It, it was long. Easter. It was Easter two years ago. Easter two years ago. We'd done all that. Come back from Whitby, that blew up on the way back. Well, blew the air gasket. Two years I've put up with that leak. That is bad. That is bad. I should tell myself off. Anyway. We've kept them all barons in, in good stock and 
in wealth and that they've become accustomed to. So <laughs> they'll be gutted now because I'm not buying as much oil. <laughs> anyway, good job done. Thanks, Cliff. Right, we're back. It's the next day. We've left there overnight. It's recommended that you leave the seal to settle in on the camshaft. It's made from PTFE. So once you put that over the start of the shaft, you're supposed to leave it there and let it settle in. Minimum of 12 hours. So we've left there overnight. Let's see how we get on. That should be as good to go. Next stage for us, we make sure everything's clear. All the pins are out. All the tools are out. And I'm going to turn it over. We will get a few error codes because there's quite a lot of equipment missing, but we'll just clear them out at the end. So we're going to turn it over now, see how it behaves. Now the battery could be flat, so that's something we need to consider as well. Um, I might need to charge everything. Let's do this real time so you get to experience it as I do. Will it work? Always fingers crossed. Let it give it a couple of heats. Right this time. It's flat. Back is flat. Right, I've got the I've got the jumper pack, we'll put that on. Right, jumper pack's on. Let's see if this goes this time. Let's see if we've got a good connection on the jumper pack. Let's try again. What the hell is going on here? Today it just doesn't want to... Right, I give up. Well it turns out that you should, every now and then, charge your booster pack. I forgot to charge it, so I've got it connected to Got the van now connected to another battery that I've just taken off another vehicle, so hopefully this time we'll be good to go. What the hell is going on here? She turned. And I think everything's just flat. <laughs> I really do think everything's just flat. <sighs> I can't believe that battery's flat. I should have. I should have charged it. I should have charged it. I know I should have. I'm kind of kicking myself now. Tell you what I've done. I might show you if it works. Beauty starts, runs, loads of lights on. We can put it back together now. But let me show you what I've done. <laughs> so, jump pack onto the battery to fire that battery up to get that running. Works smarter, not harder. Obviously, not enough charge in the jacket and uh, in the jump starter and not enough power in the battery so I'm gonna put all of them on charge now but there was enough in all of them to do what we needed to do so there you go <laughs> we're up and running again oh, I can build it back up now thank god no oil and there's no oil there either I think we've managed to fix that I can safely say that oil leak is now fixed. We've had a good run off. We went to Tan Hill um, House Pub in the UK. We then went on to um, North Lincolnshire. We went to Wheel of Fields. We spent a weekend down there with uh, some good friends and we drove all the way back and we've had no leaks. I've been using it locally as well. And as you can see from that, everything's bone dry. So 
just shows you um, attention to detail when you are putting things back together or, or rebuilding the top end of your engine like I did all that time ago, two years ago. Take the time to make sure that you're putting things on right, you're putting things in the right way and you'll save yourself a lot of hassle and a lot of money and oil as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've liked it. Um, if you if you have and uh, you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Um, we've got lots more content like this to come. Um, and we're going to try something different as well. We are going to start another channel. Um, basically, we're going to document the time we spend away in the van. Um, showing you nice little locations we go to. Um, sharing our camper van meetups with you. Um, sharing our time away really. And... and as we find locations, we're going to start sharing them with you as well. Um, if you like that and that's something you're thinking about, have a look at our new channel. It's called um, The Off Grid Adventure Rig. Now, there's no videos up there yet, but if you want to jump over and subscribe, um, I'm going to get my finger out this year. I'm going to start doing that. Not so many festivals this year, but we are going to do a lot more travelling, a lot more adventures, a lot more getting lost. Because that's what I used to love. That's what got me into van life. Originally, I used to just take off from the sun. We'd plan nothing. We'd just go and get lost. And when we got lost, we found some stunning, absolutely stunning, beautiful locations that have stayed with us. And we go back and revisit regular. And maybe that's something you'd be interested in. If it is, jump across to the channel. If it is, let us know in the comments as well. Because, you know, it's all a, a leap of faith. Um, we didn't expect to get as many subscribers as we've got now just by doing this but uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying it and if you are, give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and uh, take care of yourselves and we'll see you in the next video thank you very much, bye why not head over and check out our new website www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group the Crafty Blinder Van Builds. Thanks for watching.